Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to get SDXL running inside of Comfy UI. I'm going to provide you with an advanced workflow, but it's super simple to set up. You're just going to copy paste and you'll be right along your way. Oh, and for today's dad joke, I have problems planning more than seven days ahead. I'm very weak minded. And did you know there are actual people that can not plan more than 14 days ahead? I think that's too weak. So today I'll be showing you how to get this, what's on the screen here. And this is a workflow inside of Comfy UI for Stable Fusion Excel. Now I can't take full credit here because this workflow has been fine tuned by a guy named Real Lucifer. So I took that workflow, added some minor adjustments uh, to suit my tastes, and that's what we'll be using today. I'm gonna link that in the description below if you wanna get that. But first of all, you're gonna want to go to Hugging Face and get the Stable Diffusion XL models. So once you get here, you can see you have the refiner here, and the Excel base here, you're gonna want both of them. So if you enter one of them, now I've already been granted access, but you're gonna have to scroll down and press a little button that says that you want access to these. And then you're gonna go to files and versions up here, and here you have the, the file, the save tensors. So you're gonna download that, and the same for the refiner, which will be in the similar location in files and versions, you're gonna have the refiner. And those should both be placed inside of Comfy models and just put them in your checkpoints here. Now, if you don't have Comfy UI installed, I recommend that you check my Comfy UI install video, but it's very simple. You only need to download a zip file from Comfy UI's GitHub. Now, when you start your Comfy UI, it will not look like this. So you will probably have something else or just a clear workflow. And you have this load button up here and here you can load a custom workflow. It will be a JSON file. And here I'm loading this and everything, all the nodes here will pop up. Now you can also take a previous image that has been generated with Comfy UI and just drag and drop that into here. This may look daunting at first, but it's actually very simple here. So you have the positive prompt that you're gonna use here, the green part. So this is the main part. Just put in what you want here and the negative prompt here. Now there is a couple of extra prompts pieces here that will help with the refiner step. But if you're just starting out, stick with these two boxes for now. You have your size and how many images you want here. We're gonna be using 1024 by 1024, which is the native resolution for SDXL. And we're just running one image for now. As you can see, we have two nodes for checkpoints. We have the base and the refiner, and these are running into multiple samplers here. So we have a base and a refiner. We're running DPM++ 2M carries for both of them. And we're actually running here, you can run 25 steps on the base model, and then we're adding an extra five steps with the refiner. So here you can adjust how many steps you want for the base and how many steps you want for the refiner. So this is the total steps. So if you would put 35 here and 25 here, you would run the refiner for 10 steps, for example. The rest here you can just leave as is, these gray notes. Now, the way it's set up right now, you will have a preview image, which is basically the base SDXL. So that's the first 25 steps. And then we're running the extra five steps from the refiner. And then we're getting this 1024 by 1024 image. And with this particular workflow, we're actually also running an upscaler. So we're upscaling this with the NMKDCX and we're running that just after this image has finished. Now, if you don't want to run the upscaler step, you can just disable this not line here from the final VAE decoder. So you just remove that, you're not gonna run the upscaler step. And if you wanna get that back, just drag that on to there. So that's basically all you need to know and um, to do to get SDXL running inside of Comfy UI. It's uh, very simple because you can just copy and paste another workflow. Now, this was just a quick example of one of my workflows or actually the one I adapted from Real Lucifer. Let's say you have another image. I have found an image from a user in my Discord that had created an SDXL image. If I just 
drop that into here. Now there are some nodes missing, but we can easily install them from the manager. However, you can see up here that this is another workflow for SDXL. So here is the prompts, positive and negatives. We have the base and the refiner, and they're running into a similar upscaler and the preview images. So there are multiple ways of getting the workflows working. And if you are loading someone else's workflow and you get these red parts, make sure to check my guide on Comfy UI in general, but you're gonna want to add the Comfy UI node custom nodes manager. And when you do, you're gonna get this little button here. And if you press this, you can just install missing custom nodes. That's gonna fix all your errors. Well, at least the ones in regard to missing custom nodes. So there you have it, SDXL 0.9 inside of Comfy UI. I hope you learned something today. As always, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.